Now you can see we're nice and clean. You can see right through the fins and we're ready to put it back together, ready for a summer of air conditioning. If this line gets clogged, your air conditioner will shut down and you'll have to call a technician. It's a cool spring day and I am driving over to a customer's home to clean their condensing unit so they'll be ready for air conditioning this summer. I'll show you how to do it. All right, here we are at the job site. Now the best time to do this is after all the pollen, after the leaves are on the tree. Because what happens is you turn your air conditioner on and it sucks in through here and then blows out the top. Well, that's sucking all that pollen and debris in there. You can also run into that when you're mowing grass. You don't want to shoot your grass clippings towards your condensing unit. Now outside, right by your condensing unit, you're going to find a breaker. And you want to open that up and you either have to pull this plug out or there will be a switch and you want to turn that off. Because you do not, when you take this cover off, you do not want your condensing fan to kick on and cause damage to the unit or yourself. Now we're safe, the power's off, and we want to take this cover off. So I need to remove these screws. Now it helps to have a helper for this part, but all you need to do is lift the cover off and I'm just going to tip it up like this and you can hold that and I'll go ahead and clean this out on the inside. Now you can see all the debris down in there. I'm going to go ahead first just pick it out but then I'm going to vacuum the rest out. And when you're pulling the cover out and working around all this that metal, a lot of the metal here is very sharp, so you want to be careful. Wear gloves or be very careful. Now the reason you want to keep your unit real clean is because this is like a radiator in your car. And when the fins get clogged, just like on your car, air can't move through there and you can't cool the lines. The condensing unit can't do the cooling that it needs to do. So that's why it's important to keep debris from the outside and inside. Around some of those lines down there, basically those lines were sitting in mud, which is going to cause them to corrode over time. So I wanted to get that cleaned out. Okay, we've got the inside nice, clean, dry. Got all the mud out of there. Some of those copper lines were sitting in mud, which is going to cause them to corrode over time. But now I'll show you how to clean the outside. If your unit's real dirty, you can remove the grill from the side. And there's just some screws on the bottom. And pull that off and do a more thorough cleaning. And you can see they put an extra screen on here to keep the debris away from the fins. And it was good to take that screen off because it is harboring a fair amount of debris in here. And I'll hose that off. Most units don't have that extra screen on there, so you won't have to do that step. I've got that pretty clean, other than a little dirt on the bottom. But all the debris up. You can see there's little vent holes down at the bottom in various places, there, 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 so the water can run through. I like to take the hose and spray from the inside out because most of the debris gets sucked in and so if you blow it out that way it'll blow it out from the fins. This unit is not in an area where there's grass but when you do mow your grass or if you have a lawn service you want to make sure they blow the clippings away from the condensing unit. Very important to keep that free from getting clogged. Yeah. 
after I spray thoroughly from the inside out, then I like to spray down the outside. Get any debris that I pushed out. Now you can see, we're nice and clean. You can see right through the fins. And we're ready to put it back together, ready for a summer of air conditioning. We put the screen back on. And the grill covers. Top back on. Put the screws back in. And another note of caution with planting this spring, you want to keep three feet open around your condensing unit so it can breathe and cool properly. And now we can plug our breaker back in. Along with a cool running condensing unit, you want to make sure the P-trap of your condensate line is open. A lot of times you get debris and bacteria mold growing in here and it'll clog this line. If this line gets clogged, your air conditioner will shut down and you'll have to call a technician if you don't know what to do. So I'm going to show you how to clean. Remove the cap and you don't have to do this, but I use a drain cleaner with a flexible line. Just shove it down in there and push anything out that's in there. I don't know if you could hear that, but it cleared it out. And you can see the debris on the end of that. Again, if this clogs up, you'll get water in the pan and there's a float switch that'll shut your air conditioner off so you always want to keep that clear I recommend doing that once a year also what I typically do is just pour a little bleach in there to keep that clear but you can also buy products that you can pour in there and you just put the cap back on and you're good for another year and we're all ready for summer and cooling the house if this video was a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.